Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you a blue lilac eye makeup look, which is actually not too complicated. So I can wait for you guys to see how I did this. And I also used a very affordable palette. Now, before I go in with any eyeshadow, I first always prime my eyelids and I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. So I'm applying this all over my eyelid to remove redness. Now, this is the palette I'm gonna use today. It's the Cookies and Dreams palette by ELF Cosmetics. And today I wanted to do a soft blue look using the shades that I'm using in today's video. Now, I do really like the blue colors actually because I feel like they kind of have this lilac-y undertone so it's not like your typical blue color it just has a really beautiful undertone which i personally really like so it just makes it a little bit different than your typical blue eye look it just has this beautiful undertone like i said so i hope you guys like it as well and i think it's gonna look beautiful on brown eyes especially so i'm just blending this shade all the way in my crease going from the inner corner to the outer corner and just slowly building it up by going in with more and more of this eyeshadow until i'm satisfied with how everything is looking So now for the next step, I'm going in with this shimmery color and I'm using my finger to apply this all over my eyelid. So this is actually all I'm going to do for the eyelid because I wanted to make this eye look easy so you guys can recreate this on your own eyes as well if you don't have a lot of experience yet. So then I used a brush with a little bit more of that eyeshadow and just blended it out so there are no harsh lines in between the matte shade that I used in my crease and the shimmery color. Then I went in with the Benefit Cosmetics Their Real Precision Liner, which is the newest eyeliner from Benefit Cosmetics. So for today's video, I just wanted to give it a go and see if I like it. Now I have to say it has a really precise point, so it's easy to use. It's super black, which I really like. The only thing that I notice is that it does bleed a little bit in fine lines. Um, so that's the only downside, I would say. It's super long lasting. Um, once you have applied it, it, it's not smudging, which is really nice. But the only thing is that it does bleed a little bit in fine lines, even though it's not that obvious. But if I have to be super picky, you can see the little bit at the beginning, those little stripes. But I tried to fix that and... I could fix it but yeah overall I think it's actually really nice because it's super black and most liquid eyeliners aren't as black so therefore I really like it. So I used that same purple color underneath the lower lash line as I used in my crease and then I decided to go in with a little bit of this light color and pop a little bit of that in the inner corner of my eye just to give it a bit extra and also used a little bit of that underneath the brow bone but this is totally optional. Then I went in with this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner Pencil in a really like soft blue color. I will link the name in the description bar. Um, you can also go in with like a nude pencil or a white pencil, it will look super pretty as well. Then I curled my lashes and then it's time for mascara. I went in with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, which is my personal favorite drugstore mascara. And since we use a super affordable palette and the pencil in the one line is also quite affordable, I wanted to go in with this favorite drugstore mascara of mine as well. Now this is how it looks with only mascara. Now I am going in with some false lashes, but I wanted to show you how the end result looked with false lashes and without. Let me know what your favorite is. If you prefer this eye look with only mascara on or if you like the end result more with the false lashes. So yeah, this is the end result. I really hope you all enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. That's really helpful for my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to let me know in the comments what kind of look you want to see next. And hopefully until next time. Bye bye. Even if you try, you wouldn't.